Hey everyone, welcome back to Becky's Garden. Um, I had somebody comment in my last video where I was showing the FOF that I'm going to be selling and um, that I have listed on um, some Facebook seller groups in my local area. I'm not going to be shipping this um, sewing machine, but somebody had asked me how to, um, to wind a bobbin and to thread so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you how to wind a bobbin. Sorry, wind a bobbin. And please, um, I'm sorry about the noise in the background. I am a mother, housewife, and um, I'm doing the laundry, washing and drying stuff in the background, so you probably hear that. But I am pretty loud, so you should pr shouldn't have any problem hearing me because, well, little secret about me, not really a secret, but even when I whisper, people can hear everything I'm saying, okay? Because when I was a kid, I was the child at the slumber party at the friend's house who got in trouble because the parents could hear me from another room when I was whispering. Apparently, I don't have that skill. All right, so I've got my thread right here, and I've got my camera phone mounted on um, my little arm thingy. And so there's the thread. I'll just move this over just so slightly because I have it positioned already here. And I've got my thread. So I'm going to show you how first how to, um, to wind the bobbin. So you're going to take the thread and the thread is positioned right here in, um, in the machine how, how it's supposed to be. So I'll show that again. All right, try not to move this too much. And then you're gonna go under right here and then through there and then you're gonna go around I'm gonna try to use both hands and try not to get my hands in the way so that you can see so you're gonna take the thread and you're gonna go kind of keep it tight just a little bit I'm just gonna do it this way I'm gonna hold it and then pull it tight so you're gonna put it through this little tension part right here and it's gonna just glide through like that then you're going to come back with the thread across, okay? Now I'm going to switch over, switch, pivot this over this direction here. And then you are going to make sure, and I was calling in my last video and I incorrectly um, used some wrong terminology. I was calling the metal bobbin, um, I was calling the metal part, the metal case, a bobbin, and that's actually the bobbin case. So I want to apologize and clarify that right now. Um, and I also was talking about the words. Okay, my dog is scratching on the door now, so more noise, yay! All right, so I'm gonna try to make this really quick. My hands are a little bit dry, sorry about that. Been out in the garden, so my nails might not be the cleanest, because um, I like to put my hands in the dirt, y'all. So. And I'm not from the South. I just say y'all because I lived in Texas for a summer once and I pick up on accents real bad. And so they kind of stick with me and sometimes I'll sound like I'm from somewhere that I'm not. But anyways, sidetracked. So, so here's your, your um, Foth bobbin. This is a plastic one. I do not have metal bobbins. It's a metal bobbin case that I was talking about yesterday and I failed to call it the correct thing the entire time, but that's okay. Y'all get the idea, I'm sure. And if not, you guys can ask me questions. That's all good. So anyway, so important, the FOF words. And when I put the, when I was talking about the bobbin and placing it in place, I did not s specify. The words must be facing up for it to wind correctly. So what I like to do is put, let's see if, you, if I can do this where you guys can see it. I'm looking over my arm, so I'm trying to make sure that I get this in the video. So you're gonna put the thread through like that. And um, normally I have a little pair of scissors, but I got my jaw, my big giant um, fabric scissors here that I'm gonna use to just kind of trim the thread. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the little niche on the bottom, and then you're gonna line it up with this little metal part right here, because that's what these little, those little rectangle niches are. Let's see. You can see them right there. So you're gonna line up one of those with the, um, the thing and then it'll, it'll like go down in place. So it might, there, you hear the little click? I don't know if you can hear it. 
but you can generally tell when it's in the right spot when you hear, hear a tiny little click. Sometimes it doesn't make the noise. So you're just gonna hold the thread. I'm actually gonna trim it just a little bit because my thread's really long just in case I have a hard time trimming it. I need to sharpen my scissors. All right, so you're just gonna hold the thread and then you're going to push this in and then it, it'll wind automatically. And now I'm just gonna hold this thread up top here and then I'm just gonna put my blade there and it's gonna trim it off. All right, and so it's gonna wind up and it has an automatic um, winder. So um, as soon as you see this little part right here, it's moving over. As soon as the bobbin's full, this it'll shut off. Perfect. So then there's a thread cutter right here and then you cut your thread and there you have it. You have a wound, perfectly wound bobbin.